On this episode of the Bread Cow Podcast, we're going to talk about recognizing the primary heat sign in cattle. It's free info and it's safe for the lactose intolerant. Thanks for checking out the Bread Cow Podcast, sponsored by Good Cattle Company. Drop them off open, pick them up bread. My name is Randy Good, and today we'll be talking about the main way to tell if a cow is in heat. Now, a lot of people ask me about this, and the best way to tell when a cow is in heat is actually pretty easy if you follow the one rule. Focus on the one that's on the bottom. The cow that's, that's, being, that's on the bottom and other cows are trying to mount them, that's the one that you need to watch. Uh, the one that's mounting could be coming into heat. But if she's not letting other cows mount them, she's not in heat yet. Maybe she will be soon. Maybe she won't be for a couple of weeks. There's no way to know, really. Uh, as an amateur, the best thing to do is to just watch for the one that's standing on the bottom. One of the best tools that I've ever used is a spotter bull. Now, a spotter bull or gomer bull has been re rerouted out to one side so he can mount the cows, but he can't impregnate them. He can't breed the cows, and that's what you want because you want to AI to something else or whatever. That's the kind of bull that you want to get, and usually more than 20 or so cows, that's a good investment. Another question I get asked uh, quite frequently is, how long will a cow stand there and let another cow mount her? Well, it depends on the cow, but usually it's a few seconds to a few minutes, and I've seen it everywhere in between, but five or ten seconds is not that unusual, so it really doesn't take very long for a mount to happen. So if you're out doing chores and you think you're watching for heat, you're probably not. You need to really focus on what you're doing. Watch for 10, 15 minutes at least so that you have an idea of, of who's mounting who and what's going on. If you have two or three cows in heat, you might spend a little more time, spend a little more effort. Personally, I use a video system. It's a little bit difficult to maintain and to take care of, and, and but it, it's everything you need as far as being able to make sure you know exactly when a cow is coming into heat. And that's pretty much the basics of finding a cow in heat. There, there really isn't enough time to go over everything like using spotter bulls or secondary signs of heat. So if you need more info, check out my book, Heat Detection in Cattle, which is available at Amazon.com. I'll put the link to the book in the description, or you can email me with questions. I'll be happy to answer those. Hit the subscribe button and catch all the Bread Cow podcasts. And remember, I've tried Barry White music on cows, and I've had mixed results. <laughs>